Hi, next up, and for a little bit of a change, we've got two aneroid barometers. This was the barometer based on the Vidi design, which is the one you'll most oft often find. The other one, I have put up one of these, is the Borden barometer, but these are more popular, probably more sturdier, and are based on the Vidi design that's VIDI simply they use an evacuated chamber which you look down there you can see try and get it so we can see it well a circular box which is corrugated and that is a vacuum it is held under tension of a spring and the springs have the the um, spring has attached to it. If I can show it, that lever there that's attached to the spring, and as it moves, it causes a lever inside there to to rotate that way and that. Operating a fusee, which is a chain. And the fusee chain is that one there you just see it it's like um no well, it's a chain it's like a chain is a chain and that goes up to the spindle which operates the pointer which is controlled by a hairspring so it's always in tension so it stays where it is but it moves but it will move and it stays once it's moved to whatever the state of the vacuum box is in and that depends solely on the air pressure which is pressing all around us all the time bad weather normally means less pressure and you come around there so this is your, your, your bad weather it's in French but it's actually a French barometer it's made by the company Maxant which is a well-known French company which were made in Paris. Needless to say this was a boot sale job. This is a standard layout. Where they expose the meter, the actual movement, they're very nice, they're polished up and looking inside that one, this one's actually got on the there a trademark which looks like an anchor which would indicate that they probably made barometers for shipping because obviously it was very important that you knew what the other uh, weather was going to be and also pointing out you've got a second pointer which turns around you can set it on what it was so you get an idea set that on that one there so both needles are reading the same thing so if it's gone up or down you can tell if it moves off from the original pointer. Same comments to the other barometer which I don't know the name of. It could even be a French made one, it may be German, it may even be English. But exactly the same, they work the same. As you can see this is it in English, stormy, rain, change, fair, very dry. Your readings are the are in inches for the UK. We always put it in inches. In America, it's in inches, but on the continent, it was in anything bar inches. I think you've got millibars around the outside. They're millibars and centimeters in the inner scale. So they're the two differences, but the basic movement is the same. To adjust these, if you live in an area which is above sea level, you'll get an incorrect reading, because the higher you go up, the air becomes less pressure. It works like an altimeter in a plane. So if you lived above sea level so many feet, then 
turning this over you've got a little adjusting screw there you get an adjusting screw and what that does it alters the position of the pointer so you'd ring up your local a meteorological office weather station or whatever and say right I live at such and such a place can you give me the actual barometric pressure and they will give you it in inches or millibars or whatever and all you do you turn that round and set the pointer on where it should be and once it's set you're okay any changes then would indicate a correct reading and that's about all I have to say on the on these two aneroid barometers. I say, oh, it's, I'll occasionally add extra bits and bobs, which I think may be of interest. I might have repeated this before, but if I have, I do apologise. Anyhow, two nice little, little barometers, both from Wimbledon boot cell. Another reason why I really like boot cells. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Any questions, please ask. I will try and get back to you if I know the answer. As I say, the two main types in the aneroid, or it means without liquid, is the vidi, which this type is, and the borden, which uses the curved tube. The other type of barometer invented by um, hmm, uh, Mr. Torricelli, who was a um, pupil of Galileo where you had a mercury tube inverted into a pool of mercury over 30 inches long and a vacuum was produced and that also indicated the air pressure and banjo barometers use its principle I have got I have got one or two of them in fact I believe I have shown one of those so um, anyhow that's the difference there Anyhow, once again, thanks for watching. Any questions, I will try and answer. And, um, yeah, thank you again. Thank you.